Hello you all. This video is an update on the pyrolysis project. At first I want to thank you all for your support and comments. This really helps me improve, get new ideas and buy the stuff I need for building the system. If you also like to support the project you can do so via Patreon. The link is in the video description. But now let's have a quick summary on what happened in the last couple of months. First I got in contact with the research team of Pyrom Innovation. The people there are just amazing. They helped me out, gave me new input and complement my work with their expertise. The next thing that happened was ProOcean. They are a NGO dedicated to collecting plastic waste that is washed ashore in the Philippines. Their team is doing great work over there. In 2021 they managed to collect around 1.4 tons of plastic waste. Early on we realized the potential of a partnership. With my system we could directly convert the waste into fuel where it gets collected. At around the same time I got in contact with the mechanical engineering department of the Technical University of Munich. I told them about the project and what my plans were. Luckily the professor and the head engineer did like the project and so we started working on it together. I am also no longer working alone. We are now a team of two, the second person being Mark, a PhD student of the department. Furthermore, I no longer have to build the reactor myself, because the mechanical engineering department has their own prototype production line, where the next reactor will be built by professionals. The things that I have to do in the near future is finding sponsors who are willing to support the project and cover the cost of building materials, which will be around 3,800 euros per unit, Furthermore, we are always looking for people which worked in the field of pyrolysis and are willing to give us input um, on the matter. So if you have experience with such things, you can contact me via mail. You can find the mail address in the info box. So, as you all can see, the project is taking some very important steps into becoming a fully certified system, which hopefully helps poor communities tackle their plastic waste problem and provide cheap fuel on top of that. So, the only thing left to say, the catchphrase. Have fun and do not kill yourself.